I am Vic Malayala. I am a senior vice president of field applications engineering and uh, business development for Supermicro. Thank you for coming to Supermicro. We will show you around. I am here to talk about our uh, Blade product family, which is uh, basically the Rolls Royce of our product family. So the reason is that Supermicro has taken the market because of our value that we are bringing in the high performance computing. That's what our starting point. And Blade was one of the leading uh, elements into that. So what we have done is, we have taken all the bells and whistles out of the product line. This is a high performance, high density compute with integrated networking and management. So you're talking about the entire product line from the Intel processor family, whether it is a single socket all the way to the four socket platform with currently uh, Skylake and going forward to Cascade Lake, we are able to support in this platform. In this particular one, this is a particular ATU platform where we are talking about uh, a two uh, dual socket platforms as well as a quad socket. We are able to get the right mix into that uh, customer's hands. As for the interconnect is concerned, in this particular one, we are able to support depending on the application, whether you want 10 gig, 25 gig, or 100 gig, which could be Omnipath or uh, you know Intel, the, the EDR from Mellanox. Either of them can be supported. So the Again, going back to this is, depending on the application, this particular blade we offer in different form factors. We have a 4U, 6U, and a 8U with different densities and different performance that we can get it out so the customer expectations and customer requirements can be met. So this is the major advantage of that. So Tina, in this case, I'm actually showcasing a four socket platform from Supermicro. This is again supporting the Intel scalable processor family. Currently it supports Skylake and we are supporting Cascade Lake in this one. As with any other platform, we are able to support maximum configurability and maximum that you can get from a processor. In this case, because of the four socket, we are able to support 48 uh, DIMMs that are supported in that. However, one thing that is going to be added new in the Cascade Lake platforms is the induction of Apache Pass, or the Intel Persistent DC memory, in which case we are able to increase the memory footprint to 12 terabytes. So having 12 terabytes of memory in a four socket platform suddenly exposes a lot of opportunities for customers who are trying to do in-memory application acceleration or because it's persistent memory, they have an option to configure it as a main memory or as a storage, which is a very low latency and high performance. The whole idea again behind this is to give the customers a choice of giving a highly uh, modular and configurable, but at the same time, very high performance uh, storage and compute platform in a 4U form factor. This is a quite exciting product family from Supermicro. There are few different elements that are going here. One is the 2U4 node or a Big Twin platform we are talking about. Big Twin is the industry leading four node form factor from Supermicro, either it's for hyperconvergence, for high performance computing, or a software defined environment. That's what makes it quite unique. In this specific case, we actually have uh, four nodes, each one either supporting either Skylake or Cascade Lake. So on the compute side of it, you are covered. And you also have 24 DIMMs per node, which is the maximum that can be supported. And mind you, this is a high density form factor. And in addition to that, we are also able to support NVMe. So it can be potentially used as an all flash NVMe based solution. And on the networking connectivity side, like with any other platforms, we provide the complete configurability. We're talking about one gig, 10 gig, 25 gig, 40 gig, 100 gig, EDR, Omnipath, you name it, we have it as a part of this dense form factor. In addition to that, what we have also done is we are able to provide two full add-on cards. That way people, when they're trying to get a different, uh, like a, if, if they're looking for a security access if they are trying to get some additional storage controller card, they will be able to put in that particular platform. The second part of this is, which is what makes it even more uh, interesting and quite unique here is, we are having here a one new system. This is with something called ruler. This ruler is something that you know looks like this. This is a just like a standard ruler. This can go up to 32 terabytes in each drive, which effectively means that 32 of them in a 1U can get up to one petabyte. One petabyte in 1U, which is kind of unheard of. At the same time, this particular platform, we have an option to configure it as a server or as a JBOF, as a, just, just a bunch of flash. So in a JBOF configuration, we can connect it, it to these multiple head nodes, which actually makes it a configurable storage array. We're talking about multiple head nodes and you are able to get the storage and you are able to dynamically configure. In addition to that, we have different flavors of the Big Twin platform or the Twin architecture as such based on what the customer requirements. For the people who are looking for not memory bound applications, we have 
ones with less memory, and we also have something that can support 200 gig HDR as a part of the connectivity option. This is the high performance computing world, so we are able to offer NVMe, also the highest end of the CPU, and the network connectivity that is providing the maximum out of a given platform. We have a long-standing relationship with NVIDIA in bringing different GPU-centric platforms to market. We started off with a single GPU, then it went into 2, 4, 8, and I will also show about something 16 and beyond. What we have done is, um, as the processor technologies evolve, and as the workloads also ch starting to change, we decided to adopt to that. So by having a single root complex versus multi-root complex, and going into uh, incorporating NVIDIA's uh, uh, communication of the NVLink, which is SXM, SXM2, and 3 like that. In this specific case, we are talking about a 4U platform, which is based on a dual socket Intel, but we are able to support 20 of the NVIDIA T4 cards. So this particular T4 card looks something like this, which is what is everyone talking about in the last few days. It's about for inferencing, machine learning, or if you're talking about uh, for artificial intelligence workloads, which are evolving, which are a high performance workloads and which require a lot of uh, access to quick data and they also need to be provided enough bandwidth for it to be quite modular and effective. So in this specific uh, platform, we are able to support 20 of them and still have enough network to bring the data in and out. So this is the greatness about this product and uh, you know we are the first to basically launch this product and it's uh, ready to roll. This is a beautiful product. This is uh, a 10U. Uh, latest and greatest from Supermicro based on the NVIDIA GPUs. This is again supporting the Volta V100 32 gig modules, but this actually supports with SXM3 as the interconnect. So the gr great thing about this specific product is it's extremely modular. So we have separated out the compute and the GPU planes. So what you have here is uh, one plane, which is all the compute, and we have uh, switching, and we also have the GPUs, eight per uh, each node. So effectively what we are able to get out of this is um, the highest end scale-up GPU architecture that is available today on the planet. We have able to 16 of them, again 32 gig each in each of the GPUs, connected with SXM3 as the interconnect, and great for any kind of workloads, whether you are talking about a pure uh, you know, like a inferencing or rendering or uh, um, you know, high-performance computing, all the different workloads can be easily fit into this. The good thing about this is um, in, in this specific platform, we are able to have, again, as I mentioned, 16 GPUs, and we have 16 network connections to make it a GPU direct to take the system connected uh, to the outside world. In addition to that, we have 16 NVMe drives, again, to provide the data to the system in a quick manner. And we have enough networking options available from the compute side of it, which is like a two of uh, uh, network, net, two network cards can be uh, plugged into that platform as well. So effectively, in this particular platform, you are able to have the maximum GPU, maximum CPU, and maximum networking connectivity, which is going to be supporting customers for different workloads. Thank you, HPC Wire, for coming to Supermicro and giving us an opportunity to showcase all our products and what value that we are bringing to the customers and this industry. Thank you again for coming here. See you next year. Thank you.